Now, what are the other methods in getting the relative location? So, we have here, ito sa Chebyshev's. So, Chebyshev's theorem enables you to make statements about the proportion of data values that must be within a specified number of standard deviations of the mean. So, ang z-score ganiha is specific siya. So, you are 1.25 um, standard deviations higher than the mean. So, ano siya? Ang Chebyshev's is range siya. So, in at, um, according to the Chebyshev's theorem, at least 1 minus 1 over the z-score squared of the item in, in any data set will be within z standard deviations of the mean where z is any value greater than 1. Diba? Mura siya complicated. <laughs> but really, it's not. So, ang iaharag yung um, gistate daw nga, at least kani siya, ang imong makuha anin na formula is a percentage. So, at least x percentage of the items in any data will be within a z standard deviations from the mean. So, a certain percentage of the data daw kay naa within a specific standard deviation, specific oh, standard or katong Z nga standard deviation about the mean. So, in Chebyshev's, theory, uh, Chebyshev's theorem requires that Z should be greater than 1, but Z need not be an integer. So, arita sa napanimang nara. Morning ang coins as Chevy Chevs. Iha result. So, at least, kani mo ni siya ang more basic or kanang more basis ni mo. At least 75% of the data values must be within Z is equal to 2, meaning ang standard score niya, ang Z score niya is equal to 2 standard deviations of the mean. Meaning ang Z score nga mo gawas niya dri is 2 daw. Um, two deviations of the mean. Then, so, kana siya is nag na sa 75%. Now, at least 89 of the data values must be within Z or Z-score of three standard deviations about, about the mean. And at least 94 must be within four standard deviations of the mean. So, uh, mas makasabuta na better if we illustrate it. So, anita, mag-illustrate. Ani na siya ang gipasabot? Let's insert. Anita, anita sa Chevy Chefs. So, ani na siya. Ah. Okay. So, for example, maodaw ni ang imuhang um, data set, or money mo hang data set, o kanin siya, this comprises 100%. Now, out of the 100%, ang giingon sa Chevy Chefs, nga at least 75% daw, kay, two standard deviations, about, two, two standard deviations of the mean. So, for example, Ito lang ni siyang tungaon. Let's choose another color. Let's go with the red. Okay. So, mo ni siya ang median ha. Mo ni siya ang median. Now, according to Chevy Chefs again, go with yellow. 75% of the data daw is within 75% of the data is within two standard deviations of the mean. So, kaning yellow diba? Now, let's move it further. Okay, it's more rush 50. So, there. This yellow is better, sure, if I will present it in a box. Wait a minute. Okay. 
Ne? So, magkuantag 75%. Let's illustrate a... Okay. So, kaning nasulod sa yellow na box? Kanina area. So, meaning kaning blue na area nga nasulod sa yellow na box is said to have a standard deviation of 2 from the mean. So, for instance, i-assume na to nga kani siya is equal lang siya or akato siya ang sa imong skewness nga your mean is equal to your median rapod. So, kuan siya, um, symmetrical. So, let's assume that the data is symmetrical. And then, so meaning kaning red is again your mean. Ang red ni mo is your mean. Now, your yellow, as mentioned in the first part, is mo na siya ang nag-comprise sa 75% of your data. Again, it comprises 75% of your data. Now, given na nag-comprise na siya 75% of your data, meaning, ang kanang nasud sa yellow na part is, not that one, Nope. So, ang kanang nasulod sa imuhang yellow na part is mo na siya ang nag-compose or iyahang um, location is 2 2 nang si 2 Ano siya? So, from this point kaning tumoy sa yellow up to the middle that is two standard deviations daw so it would also hold true for the opposite side so kani siya hmm ato na i-change ang color kay para dili siya libog let's change it to yellow now, muna ang giingon sa first na part. 75 is 2 standard deviations. Or Z, your Z-score is 2 standard deviations of the mean. Now, ang second is 89% daw. So, let's choose another color. Let's go with orange. Eighty nine per cent. Ano lang di lang nate overlap kay para di libog. So eighty nine per cent. Kanang ni mohang na sa mohang orange. Mora siya red at ang ilisan. Ah, let's just do green, okay? So kana siya is Ang nasulod ani, kani from this point to this point comprises 89% of your data value. And then, ang iyahang z-score is equivalent daw to 3. So, ano yun na nato ikaw? Hey. Okay. So, ano siya? Muna ang sa Chevy Chefs, ha? So, muna ang giingon ko sa Chevy Chefs. Now, ang 94 oh, is 4. So, mili na sa tag laing color. Okay, so ang kanidong fo uh, kaning na nasa orange, like orange is four standard deviations. Okay.
Ah, so Moni siya. Again, Moni ang gi-illustrate tras ay mo ang Chevy Chevs. Awa, oh, mura na siya complicated ato. Mura ni ang katong formula. Ang formula, katindri sa babaw, is kanina siya sa percentage. So, kung gamitin ni mong formula, ang makuha ni mo is 75 and so on. So, let's try. Kung i again mo ng application, or mo ni ang katong illustration sa kanina Chevy Chevs. So, na example din he. Suppose that the marks of 100 students in a course has a mean of 70 and a standard deviation of 5. We want to know the number of students having a test scores between 60 and 80. So, ang scores is 60 to 80. Again, ang imong ganan may bond is the number of students daw out of 100. Pila kabok ang number of students nga ang ilahang score is between 60 to 80. So, muna kung giingon ganihan na your Chevy Chevs is range ang iyang gi, um, ginafollow or iyang gi compute. So, first we have Again, pangitaan na ito. Pila ka buok, ba? Diba? So, So, we have here, your 60 and your 80 is mo na siya ang katong imuhang. Ay, ito sa formula. Imuhang X. So, imuhang 60 is your lower X and then your 80 is your um, higher X. Now, ang pagkuha sa imuhang Z-score, diba? Kaya again, before ka makakuha sa percentage is kailangan paka makahibaw sa imuhang Z-score. Kaya again, your percentage will determine ang imuhang Z-score or the oh, ang percentage is makuha ni mo kung naakay imuhang z score so kwao na to ang z score for 60 and for 80 so ang z score for ato lang ning iubos ang is z 60 and then okay. 60 and 80 so again ang z score is your X minus your mean, di ba? Your deviation about the mean divided by your standard deviation. Di ba mo niyang imuhang z-score? So, you have a z-score of negative 2. Ang 80 po ni mo is your, your X minus your mean divided by your standard deviation. So, again, Before ka makakuha sa percentage sa Chevy Chevs, is kailangan pa ka makakuha sa imuhang Z-score. So, in this case, your 80 has a Z-score of negative 2. Uh, no, not 80, but your 60 has a Z-score of negative 2. 80 has a Z-score of 2. Now, if wala ta kay baw ani, uh, upon knowing that, kabaw na ka dit, so diba na, the answer is 75. Kaya nga naman, Balik ato, diri. Di ba na naman ni mo? O naman yung imuhang basis. Pero again, di ba, your Z or rather your Z is greater than 1 but Z need not be an integer. So what if dili integer imong makuha? What if dili 2, 3, o 4 imong makuha? So kanina diri is... Uh, so ang 60 to 80 ni mo is na siya na belong sa dinhi. Ay, siya sa imuang 75. So, this is your 60, and then this is your 80. So, na siya na belong sa 75%. Now, if mo gamit atong formula sa babaw, kani siya nga formula, malik na dre, 1 is 1 minus z over squared. So, ato ang kaon ang sa 60, nga Chevy Chevs. So, kaniha is a Chevy Chev na ni sa ubos. Again, kanisha is your Z-score. Z-score. 
Kani siya is your Chevyshev's Theorem. So, again, sa pagkuha ni mo is 1 minus botan na to parenthesis 1 divided by your z squared mm to the mas dali so there again that's 1 1 minus 1 divided by your z squared. So, mao na ang imuhang z score. So, as you can see here, 75. And then, sa 80 is also 75. So, 75 is percentage na siya. So, sa Chevy Chevs is percentage ang mong makuha na result. Again, as I mentioned ganiha, kani is ang percentage na siya. So, mao na siya ang tinhi. Mga shangs, pagkuha niyo sa Chevy Chevs. So, again, what you need to remember is that you cannot get the Chevy Chevs without getting first the Z... Excuse me, without getting first the Z score. So, we have here another example. Kanisa, another example is um, the student's score is between 58 to 72. So, ganiha is 60 to 80, man. So, if we try 58 to 72, 58, and then 72, Is it already showing a different? No, oh, not 72, but it's rather 82. It's not 72, but 82. Wait. So, it should be 82. See, because it's 82 here. This should be 70, 70, and then this should be, this should be 82. So, there. See? You did not get a Z-score of exactly 2, 3, or 4. Again, your Z-score is already not an integer. So, it's 2.4 na. So, Still, given that your Z-score, even if it's not an integer, but it is 2.4, you know that if you have a Z-score of 2, it is 75%. If you have a Z-score of um, 3, it is 89%. So, you know that a Z-score of 2.4 would have a percentage between 80 um between 75 and 89 so in this case it is 82.64 percent or 0 0.82 again this is in decimal form if imuha siyang imuon og percentage form it times ra na og 100 again this is in decimal form but if you want to make it into percentage form it times ra na og 100 so still the same result so see here it's 82.6 so kana siya mona siya or that's how you get the um relative location using the chevy chev